Three, two, one. <laughs> the experiments in this video involve corrosive sodium hydroxide and flammable hydrogen gas. It also involves oxygen gas, which can make fires burn more vigorously than they normally would. Also, a hydrogen oxygen gas mixture can be highly explosive. Right, okay, guys. I think it's finally about time we tested this thing. Hello, it's me, the Crazy Node Inventor, and I finally finished my hydrogen generator. So in this video, you're going to see me test out the hydrogen generator, and maybe um, some other videos in the future, I'll uh, make and I'll talk about the design of this generator and some of the scientifics and problems behind this hydrogen generator. So before we begin, we need to fill it up with water. However, pure water in itself is not that conductive. So I use sodium hydroxide as an electrolyte to make the water more conductive. Okay, so I pour some distilled water into a bottle and then I add some sodium hydroxide to it. And um, I'm aiming for like a 1.5 mole solution. Um, with 300 milliliters, the generator holds that's around 20 grams of sodium hydroxide, I think. Anyway, so you see me just pouring into the generator, not much happening here. So ideally, you only need around 2 volts in order to electrolyze water. However, at 2 volts, the reaction doesn't go that fast. So in order to speed it up, you can increase the voltage. However, increasing the voltage can make the generator produce a lot of heat. And if I have too much heat, then I could end up melting the epoxy. So that's why you don't see me cranking it up to the full 30 volts of the lab bench power supply. Anyway, so I set the power supply at around 6 volts and I got the tubes and I stuck them underneath some soapy water. This allows me to collect some bubbles of hydrogen and oxygen gas. After a while you can see that there are a few bubbles there. So I try to light it with a match. Are you kidding me? Well that was disappointing. Okay, so my first attempt was a bit of a fail. As you can see, nothing happened. Now, I think this is because um, the generator didn't have enough time to purge out all the air inside, so the actual concentration of hydrogen gas uh, wasn't actually that high. So I left it on for a few more minutes to allow it to purge out all the air and for it to build up hydrogen gas. And the second time I tried it, this happened. Okay, so call me a coward, but I don't know how loud this is going to be, so I'm just using a chicken stick for now to light this. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, that was loud! So like any other pyromaniac who is addicted to fire and explosions, I did it again and you may be able to tell that I'm kind of losing my sanity. Okay, here we go again. Uh, the match just went out. Three, two, one. <laughs> and then I did it again. Again, three, two, one. That was even louder. And then, for good measure, I decided to see what would happen if I only had hydrogen bubbles. Okay, so just for fun, here I've got some hydrogen only bubbles. So, three, two, one. Yeah. So, in fact, there wasn't much hydrogen in there, but still, that was rather weak. Alright, so here's a little bit more hydrogen gas this time. You see, rather pathetic. So hydrogen gas on its own, it is quite flammable, but it's not that explosive. In order to make it explosive, you mix it with oxygen gas, and that makes it burn faster, and that gives you an explosion. So you can see here that hydrogen only gives a nice little pop, but it's not like the explosions that the previous run gave me. So this helped me to confirm that oxygen gas was being produced, as it made the explosion, or the hydrogen, burn more vigorously. Again, here's some hydrogen oxygen gas. Wow. So there you go guys, my hydrogen generator. Um, I can't remember how many months I spent making this, but 
I spent about um, 10 times more time on this than I should have. Yeah, wow, um, those were some nice explosions. And now for the cleanup. So I'm quite excited about this video. It's the first time I've filmed a decent explosion on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one.